Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Our Plastic, soon to be known as the Weed Tester, the Blind Weed Tester, the Blind Stoner. I don't know, something to that effect. I do want to become a legitimate weed tuber now. Basically, this shit just got recreationally legalized very close to where I am. And even so, arrests are going down. Everyone on the internet's fucking reviewing weed. So why the hell not me? And when you're blind, people tend to think that the rest of your senses are better to compensate. Which, I guess I can't argue in terms of music and hearing, because I have close to perfect pitch. You know, like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Close enough. So, I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, yeah, the rest of my senses are better. I, I can taste, smell, feel the high better than anyone. So, everything I say shall be taken as gospel. Yeah, well... Anyway, the main thing I have in mind today, and it's probably going to be a three-part video, because, hey, I'm, I, I'm not like Wheat's Reviews, where I have proper video editing software and I can merge everything, but I want to show off the Ardent Nova Decarboxylator. It's a device for making bomb-ass edibles, and... Even a blind guy like me could fucking do it. It gets to the right temperature for the right amount of time to activate the THC. You know, it's that step when you're making edibles where you have to to cook the weed separately before even grinding it up and straining, like infusing it into the butter and whatnot, and then recooking it. It's that decarboxylation process. But it's going to be a three-parter because the decarboxylation process takes an hour and a half to two hours. Then I want to show myself eating a good glob of it. And I mean, I'll do a good amount. I'll do several hundred milligrams. I'm not going to be like the company demonstration only eating 10 milligrams and not even showing the aftermath. And then two hours later, after I eat the several hundred milligrams, I'll be on Mars and I'll... I'll I'll show you the uh, aftermath, which the whole fun part about the aftermath is seeing people's eyes, and unfortunately, that's not going to happen. It, it's just not. So, now, the decarboxylator, it works with traditional weed, traditional hash, like bubble hash, dry sift hash, and also concentrates, like the wet ones, like wax, rosin, and whatnot, keef. It works with everything. Everything weed-related that you can get out of weed, even trim and stems and whatnot, if you're desperate. I've got wax. So... Here's a shot glass. Okay. This used to be an ounce. This used to be an ounce of wax. Blue diesel. It's obviously not anymore. Here's a, a good chunk for reference. Yeah. Check out that shatter. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting off track.
Man, every time I've done this, tried making this video, I've done several takes at this point, it always gets dragged out and I always get zoned out on some step. But look, you got wax and a shot glass. Blue diesel, hybrid. And what's interesting about this wax is it's like shattery and whatever. It'll melt when you decarboxylate, but then it re-solidifies. Other wax that comes on like parchment paper and shit, you know those grams, they'll stay saucy after you decarboxylate it at room temperature. I'm not sure what's up with this. This is the decarboxylator. This is the shit, yo. Huh? This, that shit. So, you take off the first top. I'm trying, to, I'm trying. My camera skills are not the best. Take off this top. You can put weed directly in here. But I'm taking this wax in the shot glass, putting it in. Put the top on. I gotta plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Upon doing so, a light will turn green telling you, go, you can push this power button. And it should turn red, telling you, stop, don't open it. But for the first couple minutes while it's getting warm, I like to open it and just check that it's heating up from the inside because I can't see the lights. Yes, it is. And now we just leave it alone. The light's red. Stop. It's doing its thing. Let's wait an hour and a half to two hours, you know, until it cools off and it's fully decarbed. I'll eat a glob, come back two hours after that, high as a kite, and tell you the effects of the hybrid. I already know it's going to be uh, good, and it's going to be a head and body high, and it's going to smack me. But I want to show y'all. Peace for now.